like I say, it's not Beavis and Butthead. It's not Andy and Barney. It's, uh, the Truck and Duck Show. With Ralph. As you can see, I'm driving a brand new 357 Pete custom made just for me by my friend Wobbly Captain. Wobbly Captain made this. He makes plenty of videos too. Bussing, trucks, racing. But he made this for me. He was supposed to have my truck and dub show And since I, since I like to haul heavy equipment, and I work road construction, and Alex makes roads, he makes a uh, program. So I had him put MHA construction on the door in the truck and dub show on the rest of it, so it's like a truck to move out of the equipment. When you change your job location, it's not right to me. Sounds like you're right. Hey, Ralph. Hey, Ralph. What do you want, Doug? Don't you see how you put those up in the front? Yeah, I seen the picture on the truck. Got the actual front, is it, Ralph? No, that's not my face on the truck. Well, see what you were doing, you Ralph. That was so the show. That was what the old truck. Why did you? Boy, that made you feel good on it, though. Yeah, I bet that makes him feel good to have that big old duck on that truck. That don't like the way Wobbly did it, though. He don't like the way Wobbly did it. No, he Wobbly look fat. He made you look fat. Yeah. Well, you are fat. You think you would airbrush it? Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, folks, what we're doing here is just riding around looking for a job going north. We passed, we went in and out of a couple of job sites, and I edited them out for time. Everything's going south. I want to go north. That's where Alex is working from here north. So I'm going to find me a job going north. So that's what we're doing right now, riding around looking for a job headed north. And there's ACDC. You can't go wrong with them. Hell's Bells, Thunderstruck, a whole lot of roses. Mm, what else? Back in black. You can go on forever with them. Sit down and watch your uh, concert rolling out of a... Uh, ACDC, then crank over and watch you a concert of the Rolling Stones right after it. You might go sleep. I ain't saying the Stones ain't good, cause they're great, but... But one's rocking and one's not rocking as hard. We get a slow here in the Alex, see, he's getting sneaky, he's starting to hide stuff, he's starting to hide service stations. Fix it shops. Loads. You kinda gotta look for stuff. Be, be, a, be a service station mark, a sleep mark, and a pickup mark all in the same spot and you can't find them. <laughs> I think he's up to making us work hard though. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, me too. I'm just glad to be in this big new truck, even though it's got a damn duck on the side of it. I like it because it's got heavy equipment on the side of it. I can run all that stuff. 
Like we're picking up Christmas presents, I mean birthday presents, or there's something that there ain't Christmas. Must be for Bill Gates, Donald Trump, or somebody like that son. Daughter have to have uh, 15, I think it was 15, 20 done, that's a lot of presents. Uh, that's, a, that's the kind of presents I need. Yeah, kind of presents you need there, Rusty, and me too. What's that alarm going off in that truck for? I might have got a tad too close to it there, Ralph. Yeah, I think you got more than a tad too close to it. Why can't you ever keep anything to yourself, Ralph? <laughs> You think if we do anything bad, he's gonna tell him? What do you have to cuss all the time, Doug? I don't know who made the rules, what's cussing, what is. That's not a deal. I went around a lot of the back streets and uh, and uh, get off the navigated course here. And, to check out more streets and more stuff that he's done in the mountains. That's what we're doing lost sometimes. We're not really lost. We just misplaced. Man, that's right, Rusty. I ain't never lost. I'm just, just misplaced. I'm a Texan with Peggy now. That's what I'm doing. How is old Peggy? She's missing me something awful, Rusty. She's missing me something awful crying in her pillow there. Yeah, I bet she is, Ralph. <laughs> That's right, Doug. Missing them like her wife. Missing them. That's right. Oh, I forgot to tell you, this building right beside of it here on the left when you go by is a mob uh, gambling establishment. See the big black limousines and stuff out front there? You might as well gamble somewhere else like you want maybe a leg broke. Or, or if you've got the money. That's fine, just don't borrow now. I thought I'd throw that in there. Yeah, you better warn them, my Rusty. I think I put a 550 or 500 horsepower pack card or whatever it is engine in this thing. And 18 speed of fuller with retarder. Thinking about turning sensitivity way down on my brakes and try to get it to work more like a real truck, but when you hit the brakes, it'll just throw you out the window and stuff. I'll probably be running over more stuff if it's possible. Some of you said it ain't possible. <laughs> hey, I've got some new subscribers. I mean, I've been gaining a few to get to getting up there to 158 or something. 
welcome to the channel, people. And we're sure glad to have you. I know you said nobody was watching forever. Well, I'm glad it's picking up. Yeah, me too, me too. I'm glad it's picking up you fellas. It don't make no difference to me, but I know y'all like it to pick up a little bit there. You don't want to worry about it, though. You know, second thoughts, I might not have had your picture to put on the truck you seem to be. Your head seemed to be growing a little bit after you got your picture on the truck. Nah, I don't give a damn if your dog's still sore, Doc. I'm not a bit sore where you hit me. You ever decide to say we got knocked you out or you just fainted? If you say so, Doc. I think he, I think he knocked you out, but... Nah, I did, Rusty, he didn't want to tell you the truth. Oh boy, he don't want to know he got knocked out one of the time. Well, my dog is a nice... Dr. Dr. Ralph. Dr. Soft, Ralph. You know, the soft, what? Now watch the road and be glad you do the same thing. at an auction at a Mason's Lodge. Johnson County Sheriff painted on the side just a shot of coat of primer then he looked inside. Well him and my uncle tore that engine down. I still remember that rumbling sound. When the sheriff come around in the middle of the night I heard mama crying I knew something wasn't right. He headed down to Knoxville with a weekend load. You can smell the whiskey burning down Copperhead Road. Well, I volunteered for the Army on my birthday. They dropped the white trash here first anyway. I done two tours of duty in Vietnam. I come home with a brand new plan. I take the seed from Colombia to Mexico. I plant it up in a holler down Copperhead Road. Well, the DEA's got a chopper in the air. 
I wake up screaming like I'm back over there. I learned a thing or two from old Charlie, don't you know? You better stay away from Copperhead Road. Copperhead Road, Steve Earl. Yeah, about 1980, maybe. First uh, concert I went to of Hank Williams Jr., my favorite, one of my favorite singers. Mostly, if it's, I went to see Hank. And Steve Earl was opening the show. And I didn't even know who Steve Earl was. And he come out there singing Copperhead Road. And all that stuff get to our town. And, and I said, man, this is great. Then old Hank Jr. comes out there and throws both hands in the air and says, are you ready to party? Then people started fighting. <laughs> And then they started dragging people out and uh, all kinds of stuff. Then it went wild. But that was a good concert to go see. So so Kid Rock in concert and John Anderson. And then that's about it. Somebody else, I can't remember what his name was. I uh, sung a lot of good songs. Slip slipped my mind who he is now, but I'll think of it about a week from now. <laughs> We got that slow recall. Maybe I need to restart it like a computer. They get the leak in that memory. Need to restart. Yeah, that's right, Rusty. We all get tired every now and then. Forget some stuff. Even you, Ralph. No, hell yeah, I'm first. I got me a Jeep now, people. I done a little trading the other day, trading my Malibu. Trading my Malibu Max. For, um, I don't know what it is, a Wrangler or something like that. CJ7 or whatever with a hard top. And big old tires and all that kind of junk. Got a little bit of rust on the frame. I had to fix the body's in real good shape, but that I told you once before in a video that calcium rough on them or something or other. Got to fix a little price on the frame. The body and the inside real good shape. A five-speed automatic with air conditioning. Uh, so I got that now to mess with. I'll let my son do the messing with it. I'll just drive it. Yeah, that sound like you, Rusty. You ain't gonna do nothing. Nah, hell no, I ain't gonna do nothing. I've done enough already. That's right, Rusty. You pulled your time. Yeah, I pulled your time. I pulled your time. It was a hard work. How do you know, Lou? Well, I was lucky to watch. I know that. Some said's looking awful great here. The man's name I was thinking of that other concert I went to was TG T J Shepherd. Some war as hell on the home front too and that kind of stuff. But not, uh, not as many people know as him, I don't guess. Didn't have that many songs as I can remember. But uh, that was the other concert I went to. Kid Rocks was wild. I might have been a little wild that night myself, who knows? But it, <laughs> it, it was wild. Uh, party time. It ain't been 
No, uh, not too many years ago I seen Kedra. But uh, I'm a music man. I, I'm not a singer. I wish I could. But I sure do like music. I know you just go duck. Did you see all the people looking at the truck today, though? Yeah, why you said that I was waving to her? Were you waving? Yeah, I was telling everybody. I was just trying to autograph the place. Thank you, F signs and autographs. I seen you had a new tablet and a pen. Yeah, I've had it. So I've had it. I've never been faster. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> you can't be giving a feather every time you sign. <laughs> you might turn out to be a bald. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I bet you to help. Yeah. Check this parking place out, Mr. Heavy Alley. Thanks a lot for making it. And uh, I hope the next job, if I ain't already said it, I hope the next job will get goes to a construction site so I can use my MHA construction truck to get it there. I should have put it in, should have had him put construction company, but. Yeah. Construction's enough, MHA construction. Wobbly captain, sir. Uh, thank you for making me this truck. My very own truck with my, with my name on it and the old duck. All the stuff I wanted, nobody could have done a better job, thank you. fellers get out this stuff would be easier well I wouldn't mind to get out there Rusty you never did ask me to you think he'd run on me Doug I don't run over everything else Doug you think I want to stay in here where you're safe? Thanks, sir. I think you may be able to watch your nose. Thank you, sir. Where did you go? Are you thanking the new people for watching this stuff? I'm glad you missed Shut up. Thought you were done. Well, maybe I was. Hey, everybody. Old Ralph said thanks a lot, and now come back and watch us again. And we'll try to think up something fun. A little bit tired here tonight. But, um, this trip's been rough. We wore down. And that's alright, Ralph. We'll get dressed. we go and go find a sleeping place. I wouldn't leave that in here. Going to find a sleeping spot so everybody could see Alex's sleeping spots in the mouth. But, um, uh, it made the video too long, so, uh, Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed a minute or two of it. Rusty Truck, Crazy Duck, Truck and Duck Show with a new truck. Bye bye.